Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at another desktop laser engraver, and this one is the Ohmtech Polar Plus. This is a new device in their line of desktop lasers, and this one is a 55 watt CO2 laser. The Polar Plus is an updated version of the Ohmtech Polar 350, and a couple of the improvements that have been made are the laser power has been increased from 50 to 55. The working area is 20 by 12, which is just an inch or so bigger than the Polar. A maximum cutting depth on acrylic is 22 millimeters. That's up from 10 millimeters and 15 millimeters on wood. One of the really exciting improvements is the autofocus. The autofocus works really well. It can be run from the software in Lightburn or it can be run from the built-in control panel that's on the machine. You simply click on autofocus, the z-axis moves down, touches the material, and then moves back and automatically sets the focal point. The Polar Plus has offline operation, so you can send jobs to it via a USB thumb drive or connect to a computer. Um, another big improvement, and maybe the biggest improvement over the Polar 350, is the addition of the built-in control panel that I mentioned. This touchscreen allows you to control the machine outside of the laser engraving software. So you can plug in a USB thumb drive, you can select jobs from that thumb drive with the control panel, you can store them on different folders, and then you can execute them or run them on the laser without ever being connected to a computer if you choose. So we can get this thing unpacked here. This is the honeycomb bed. It goes into the machine and it is marked with centimeters and millimeters on one side and inches on the other. The Polar Plus comes with a full color installation and operation manual. It also comes with two rotary attachments that can fit in the machine and can be used for engraving or cutting on cylindrical or round items. Polar Plus comes extremely well packaged. Comes in this wooden crate with foam packaging. It's very well protected. It has these two orange straps on it that can be used for lifting it out of the crate. Inside the machine is packed some more accessories and a small tool kit. Um, this is the inline exhaust fan. Very powerful fan for removing exhaust from the machine. It comes with a remote control. Also gives you the temperature of the air moving through the exhaust fan. This little tool kit has some cleaning supplies in it. It has a USB thumb drive in it that contains some software and some other uh, little accessories for the machine. The exhaust fan comes with all the clamps and hoses needed to connect it and exhaust the gases out of the machine. Also comes with Ethernet cable, power cord, and two USB cables. A couple of observations about this machine now that it's unpacked. The case is made of metal. It has a kind of a textured powder coated paint finish on it. Um, very well made, really sturdy it seems. The top is solid piece of glass. The door that opens and closes is a piece of glass and it's clear so it provides the laser protection but it's easy to see through. Inside you can see that the gantry for this machine runs on linear rails in both the X and the Y axis. Using linear rails provides stability and rigidity which is really important for precise movements and positioning. The setup for this machine is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. The honeycomb tray fits into two guide rails. You can choose which side you want up, the imperial or the metric. Place that in. Directly underneath it goes what they call a crumb tray, and it basically slides in, and it needs to be fully seated. There are two safety switches in the back, which we'll cover later when we test all the interlock functions. There's a water tank that's inside the machine and the instructions simply say to make sure that its level is full and that when you power up the machine you can see that the water is being pumped through that tank. This machine has several safety interlocks. One of them is a small attachment that goes on the back of the machine and it is in that small tool kit. It's an interlock connection that simply plugs into the back of the machine and provides 
a connection for the machine to run. So if you remove this, the machine is unusable. So with the machine powered up, we can turn the main switch on in the back and then turn the key lock in the front to actually start the machine. Once the machine starts, the gantry will home itself to the rear right corner of the machine. And then you can look at that water tank and you can see that there's water being pumped through that tank. The laser tube on the Polar Plus actually rides in the gantry and moves uh, forward and backward with the gantry as the machine runs. And if we move the gantry forward a little bit, we can look at the back and see the tube and make sure that the coolant is running into the tube. Connecting the inline exhaust fan is pretty straightforward. There's a 120 millimeter a piece of duct work that connects from the machine to the inlet of the exhaust fan. And then there's a 150 millimeter connection that goes on the exhaust part of the inline fan. And then that can be exhausted out a window or a door or wherever allowed. To connect the Ohmtech Polar Plus to my computer, I just use the USB cables that are included. One of them just runs the camera and it just simply connects the camera to your computer. And then there's another one for the actual machine. Two plugs in the machine and two plugs into your computer. So connecting the Ohmtech Polar Plus to Lightburn is really pretty simple. Um, there's a couple of versions of Lightburn. There's the core version and the pro version, and the, the CO2 machines require the pro version. So once you get that downloaded, as soon as you open it up, you can click on this Devices tab. Once you make sure you have the USB cable connected from the machine to your computer, click on this Devices tab, and then you can click on Find My Laser. It'll remind you to make sure it's powered on and is plugged into the USB, and then you click on Next, and it starts to scan. So it will find two items here. It'll say Serial slash USB. That's the one to use. Highlight that. Click Add Device. Here you can name it. And you can name it whatever you want. Lightburn has the ability, you can have several machines and just connect to, to each individual machine. So name it something that you'll remember. Confirm that the size of the bed is correct. The x-axis is 510 millimeters. The y-axis is 300 millimeters. Click on next. On the Polar Plus, the uh, origin of the laser is the right rear. So make sure that radio button is highlighted. Click next. And that's it. Click Finish, and then you'll see it here. So select that, click OK. Then down here, you'll see Polar Plus will be listed, and any of your other machines that you have installed will be listed there. Once the software is installed, there's just a few settings that I like to change. And many of these are just personal preference, but this is just the way I set mine up. One thing I do is under Window, I turn on the console. That puts a little console tab over here, and you can see the communication with the machine between your computer and the machine. So I turn on Window, and I also turn on the Move tab. So that added this Move tab over here, and you can move the um, you can move the gantry around, and you can. That's where you'll get this focus button, and the Ohmtech Polar Plus has auto focus. So when you click on this. The laser head will move down until it touches your work, and then it'll automatically focus to the correct focal point. Pretty nice. So add those. I added those two under window, and then I go to edit, 
settings. I turn off beginner mode. That just, um, beginner mode is a more simpler interface and has less, uh, less things that show up on the screen. I like to turn it off. And then I go here to units and grids. For the CO2, I select millimeters per second. Um, I think by default, it might be selected here, mill millimeters per minute. I make sure it's at millimeters per second. And then on display, I like to click this, turn this on, filled rendering. And all filled rendering does is, is when you are setting up a layer to run in your machine, if you select a fill layer, it will actually display it filled on the screen to give you a better idea of what your job is going to look like. Um, the reason they have the ability to turn that off is because some computers, it, it's a little more resource um, intensive on your computer. So you have the ability to turn it off if your computer can't handle that much, um, that rendering on the screen. So I turn that on so it shows. And then under edit device, this machine has a Z axis. So I enable that. Turn relative, move, Z moves off. Turn on Ohm Tech Polar and optimize Z moves. And that's really it for the basic setup for Lightburn on the Polar Plus. These are the settings that I like to use and that I've, I've become accustomed to using. There are other settings that can be done. There's a, there's a camera tab in here and the Polar Plus does have a camera. That'll be in a separate video on how to calibrate that camera. And that can be really useful for putting a material in the machine and then placing your job on that work material using the camera. So we'll do that in a separate video, but for now, these are the settings to get it up and running. The OMTEC Polar Plus is FDA certified with a class one safety level, which is the highest safety classification for laser devices. And part of the reason is they have that level of classification is that they have these interlocks. There's four safety interlocks on this machine. So we're gonna run a test job with the obligatory company logo. And during this job, we're gonna test all four of these interlock systems and make sure that they're functioning properly. I have this logo set up here. I use a, a job origin of the middle. So this little green dot shows that it's in the center and it will print around it. If I click the frame button, the machine will frame out the area that's going to be used. Then you can also see under the move tab, the focus button. So if we click on this focus button, it will move the Z axis down, touch the work surface, and then set the proper focal point. Once we're ready, we just hit start. So the first safety interlock that we're gonna test is simply opening the cover of the machine. And you can see that opening it immediately stops the laser engraving. And then as soon as you shut it, it resumes where it left off. The next one that we're going to test is the crumb tray. And this has two switches behind it, two lever switches that are depressed when the drawer is fully closed. So opening the drawer even just a little bit stops the machine. Closing the drawer again resumes it. The third test is simply turning off the key on the front of the machine. You can see by doing that it immediately stops. And it's also a good way to point out another feature that this machine has, and it's an auto resume for a power outage or any time if you shut the machine off during an operation. When you power the machine back up, it will resume where it left off, or it'll ask you if you want to resume where it left off. And if you click OK, it will continue the job where it stopped. And the fourth system to check is the rear interlock safety and simply test that by pulling it out of the machine and you can see that it immediately stops the job. So that's about it. We've run through the basic setup of the OMTEC Polar Plus and also set up to operate in Lightburn. Uh, my overall impression of this machine is that it's a really well-made, high-quality machine. OMTEC has always had a reputation in the laser industry for really well-made machines.
and they manufacture everything from small desktop lasers to large industrial floor standing CO2 lasers, galvo fiber lasers, and really just cover the gamut from small to large. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I welcome any comments or questions. If you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell, you can be notified of upcoming videos, and there will be two follow-up videos to this one. One will cover the camera installation and usage in Lightburn for this Polar Plus, and the other one is going to cover the software that comes with the machine for laser engraving if you don't want to purchase Lightburn. It's called RD Works. So there will be a couple videos going over those two things. Um, there will be a discount code in the video description that will give you 5% off. Uh, and also will help support this channel should you decide to make a purchase from Ohmtech. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.